Good morning. We are here to recognize Lieutenant Anthony D'Amico, Firefighter David Jordan, Firefighter Christopher Jessa, Firefighter Paramedic Jeremy Turcott for the second time, Firefighter Jonathan Silverhorn, Master Firefighter Paramedic Justin Greer, Master Firefighter Paramedic John Newman, Firefighter Paramedic De David Sweatergold, and Captain Peter Dugan. In the early morning of Friday, May 22nd, 2020, Amlet 708 Delta and ALS 708 were dispatched to the Kaiser Permanente facility in Gaithersburg to assist with an OB emergency. The patient was experiencing abdominal pains throughout the evening, so she decided to go to Kaiser to be evaluated. Upon arriving at the facility, the patient was uh, crowning and experiencing imminent delivery. The patient informed the staff that she was only at 25 weeks gestation. The st staff at Kaiser updated MCFRS ECC to the situation, so Ambulance 708 Bravo and Paramedic Tower 708 were added to the incident to assist with a second patient. Upon arrival of the units to the facility, ECC informed the crews that the patient had delivered a premature infant and the staff were currently providing ventilations to the neonate. When the crews arrived to the CDU floor, they divided up between the two patients the neonate and the mother. The first half of the crew arrived at the neonate's side and the staff from Kaiser updated them. They stated the patient had an initial APGAR score of one, was limp, cyanotic, and not breathing, and that they had been assisting with ventilations for approximately five minutes. The crew began a thorough assessment of the patient and noted that the patient had a pulse of 30 beats per minute as palpated at the base of the umbilical cord. The crew initiated CPR for one cycle. During the first pulse check, the crew reassessed the pulse and noted that it improved to 113 beats per minute and that the patient's color had improved. The patient at this point was only peripherally cyanotic and was moving his extremities and making noises and had an improved APGAR score of 6. Although the infant's heart rate had improved following CPR, the patient was still experiencing increased work of breathing with intercostal retractions, tracheal tugging, and a respiratory rate of only 16 breaths per minute. Due to the labored respiratory effort, the crew decided to continue ventilations and were sure to pad behind the patient's shoulder to maintain proper alignment. The patient was packaged and prepared for transport to Shady Grove. En route to the hospital, the crew worked together to continue with ventilations, place the patient on the monitor, keep the patient warm, and monitor the patient's airway and condition. Upon arrival at the hospital, patient care was transferred to the waiting NICU team. The second half of the crew was updated to the mother's condition by Kaiser staff. They informed the crew that the mother had some hemorrhaging noted after delivery. So they were assessing her vitals, administering fluids, and monitoring the bleeding. The mother was packaged for transport and moved to the second unit. En route to Shady Grove, the crew continued to monitor and reassess the mother, obtain a three-lead EKG, continue administering fluids, and notified Shady Grove of the second patient. Upon arrival to the hospital, patient care was transferred to the L&D team. First few moments of a child's life can be the most critical. Premature infants may especially have complications at birth, certainly one born at 25 weeks gestation. Being prepared is the first and most important step in delivering effective neonatal resuscitation and not a skill that EMS providers have to deal with often. Effective teamwork and communication are also essential. The crews from Station 8 demonstrated professionalism and exemplified the mission of the Montgomery County Fire Rescue Service by rising to the challenge in a stressful situation. Thanks to the knowledge, skills, and abilities of MCFRS responders and the excellent NICU team at Shady Grove, the infant was discharged home on August 25, 2020 to his mother and the rest of his family after a three month stay in the NICU. Outstanding job to all crews involved. Really good stuff. Congratulations.